folks hold on to your hats and pass those kellogg's corn pops because here comes guy madison as wild bill and his pal jingles which is me andy divine we got another rootin tootin wild bill hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it kellogg's corn pops kellogg's corn pops brings you wild bill hickok starring guy madison as wild bill and andy devine as his pal jingles and now to the western town of hangtree it is late at night with only the sound of laughter from the golden dollar saloon tinny music from the ancient player piano if the citizens could know what's happening at the local jail right now, they'd be singing a different tune. At the barred window, a large but quietly moving figure steals up, slips a rope around the bars and ties it fast. Then he runs silently to his horse, ties the other end of the rope to the saddle horn. Ha! Ha! Yank him out! The bars in the jail give way, and the prisoner leaps through the open window. He's on his waiting horse and riding off with his rescuer as the excited patrons pour out of the saloon in confusion. Gee whiz, Bill, I'm getting tired. We'll pull up here, Jingles. Good. Cross the river to cover our trail. Across the river, right on the hard ground. Don't tear your clothes on the brush. Uh, we wouldn't have to do all this if Wild Bill Hickok hadn't gone and got himself arrested. Shoot, Bill, what'd you do it for? People say things in front of an outlaw they won't around a U.S. Marshal, Jingle. But I was... Hold it. Huh? Now what? Quiet. Off your horse, Jingles. Hit cover. Oh, me trouble, trouble, trouble. I should have stayed a stagecoach driver. Go get him, Jingles. He's your size. I'll get him. All right, Jingles, you've got him. Holy gee, Willikers. Hey, it's just a boy, a little rascal of a squealing boy. <laughs> Looks like a drowned mouse. I'm not squealing. And you look just as drowned, fatso. Hey, now, no smarty stuff now, Mousy. I'll throw Hold it, Jingles. What's your name, son? Tad. Tad Lawson. And where do you hail from? Hang tree. My father's a sheriff there. Oh, me. Shall I throw him back in the river, Bill? Bill? Hey, I knew I was right. He called you Bill. He talks too much. Oh, oh uh, no, no, no. You see, I, I made a mistake, Mousy. Um, this is uh, the, uh, the Missouri kid. That's oh, what... no, he's not the Missouri kid. I knew it when the deputy arrested you. No. Th that's why I rode out after you. Gosh, wild Bill Hickok. Oh, my dad sure talked about you. He saw you in Abilene once. Where's your dad? He's out combing the hills for the real Missouri kid over near Big Rock. He never would have let him arrest you if he'd been in town. Tad, are you sure you weren't followed? No, I don't think I was, Bill. But uh, we, we could move on. Hey, I'll show you a good hideout. The old skeleton mine. No, I ain't hitting leather again. No, I'm tired. Show us the way, Tad. Okay. Oh. But uh, like I was telling you, that deputy that arrested you, well, I never did like him. I don't think my dad trusts him either. Who does your dad trust? Well, I reckon the only real honest man in town is Mr. Perry. Frank Perry. He runs the newspaper. Go on. Well, naturally there's others, but uh, not that deputy. He's always hanging around with Marty Slade that owns the saloon. My dad's had a lot of trouble with them, boy. Well, m maybe you ought to have a talk with this man Perry, Bill. Yeah, I guess so, Jingles. Tad, you show us where the old skeleton mine is, will you? Oh, uh, sure. Then I'll ride into town and see Perry. Well, what about me? You stay at the skeleton mine. Skeleton mine? Well, I'll... Who, me? Mr. Perry? Eh? Oh, that's right. Pleased to know you. Uh, who are you? 
The deputy that arrested me figured I was a Missouri kid. You? Why, you're the man that broke jail. But I'm not the Missouri kid, Mr. Perry. Well, of course you wouldn't admit it. My name is Hickok, Mr. Perry. Bill Hickok. Hickok? Wild Bill. I've been called that. Wild Bill Hickok. The United States Marshal. Right again, Mr. Perry. I've been told I can trust you. Why, 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 of course, Bill. I, I'm always on the side of the law. What do you want from me? Think you can find out why somebody tried to pass me off as a not law? Get me hung? I, uh, I could try. I start asking questions around town. Uh, if I get some information, Bill, uh, where can I find you? I'm holed up with my partner in an old mine outside of town. Not the old skeleton mine. That's the one. Tad Lawson led us to it. You can find me there. Ted Lawson, huh? Well, fine, fine, Bill. Uh, glad you told me. And uh, I'm sure I'll be able to bring you something soon. Can you see him down there by the mine, Slade? What's keeping that fool deputy? Oh, take it easy, boss. Takes time to plant dynamite. Besides, it has to go off just right to blast the mine entrance. Close it off. He'll make sure they're in there. He, you warned him about this Bill Hickok. Yeah, he's heard of him. But when we're through, well, nobody else will ever hear him or his partner either. Uh, I wish he'd hurry. Uh, we far enough away here? Sure. Relax, Perry. Nobody's ever going to find the real Missouri kid. These two marshals will disappear just like the last one. We killed one already. Let's get rid of these two. Don't be so nervous, boss. Well, I'll feel better when I hear that explosion. You will hear it. What's the devil's keeping him? You should have gone yourself, Slade. You... <laughs> what were you saying, boss? <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, that's more like it. Hey, you're all right, Slade, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so long, Mr. Wild Bill Hickok. You can add two more to the old skeleton mine. This mystery of Wild Bill's got old panhandle Jim on the edge of his chair. I'm feeding my face with Kellogg's corn pops fast as I can grab them. Yeah, sure is a good thing these corn pops are a two-way cereal. That's right. You can eat Kellogg's corn pops two ways. One way is right out of the box like I'm eating them now. Yes, sir, they're a real tasty snack with the sweetening already on them. Now, the other way to eat corn pops is out of a bowl with milk. But remember what I said about the sweetening. Don't go dumping a lot of sugar on Kellogg's corn pops. They're already sweetened for you. Tasty, puffed-up hearts of corn all ready to go. They're not only good, but mighty good for you. My partner, they're a real two-gun, two-way cereal with B vitamins, vitamin D, and with important minerals and food energy, too. That's important to all you young'uns who want to grow up big and strong. And you can eat all you want. So if you aren't already settled back and join Kellogg's Corn Pops right now, you better sashay down the store tomorrow and get a load of them. You'll need plenty, because the whole family's going to be gobbling your Kellogg's Corn Pops all up. Now listen to this little saying. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. Pops love Pops. Well, sir, I'm busting to get back to the show. How about you? Let's go. <laughs> Now, back to the adventures of Wild Bill Hickok. The deputy who blew up the mine for Slade and Perry rides away from the scene, unaware that high on the ridge, two figures have been watching his every move. Bill, that ornery pole cat tried to blow us to kingdom come. I seen him with my own eyes. I seen him plant that dynamite in the opening of the mine. That's right, you did. But there was someone else around we didn't see. What do you mean? You heard that horse whinny across the canyon, didn't you? Say, that's right. And it wasn't the deputy's horse either. Hey, you think somebody else was up there watching? And maybe that somebody told the deputy what to do. Hey, Bill, Bill, I just thought of something. How'd that deputy know we was staying in the mine? Only Tad and Frank Perry knew about it. That's right. You, you don't think that boy told anybody, do you? Without meaning to, maybe. Oh, now, I don't reckon he'd tell anyone except that maybe his pa... And we know the sheriff's over at Big Rock. Do we? Huh? Maybe he's back. 
Oh, now, Bill, you ain't thinking. Let's go. Get the horses. Come on. All right, come on. Now, here. Listen, Bill. Saddle up, Jingles. We'll ride over to the other side of the canyon and see what we can find. Any signs of them, Bill? Over here. According to the tracks, looks like the party split up. Sure does. One of the riders headed back to town. Deputy, probably. He must be real anxious to tell the citizens in Hangtree that the Missouri kid got killed in a mine cave-in. Hey, look, Bill. Look, over here. The, the other riders must have headed up the road into the hills. Sheriff Lawson lives over that way, doesn't he? He sure does. Let's go. Hiya, hi, 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 hi. Well, there's the sheriff's place down there in the hollow, Bill. But I, I, I don't see anybody around. Didn't expect anyone. Well, I reckon you was right, Bill. Them riders must have turned off where we lost the trail back there. Hey, hey, look. There's somebody coming out on the porch. Sheriff's wife, maybe. I uh, sure hope she's got breakfast going. I got me an appetite something fierce. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Morning, ma'am. Morning. Heard you coming down the road. Figured it was the sheriff. He's not back from Big Rock yet. No, but I'm expecting him back soon. Won't you come in? Coffee's on. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, that's real nice of you. Say, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Me, ma'am? Well, yes. Yes, your face looks right familiar. Could be. Maybe in Abilene. That's where your boy said. Bill Hickok. Wow, Bill Hickok, of course. Tad was telling me about what happened last night, and... Well, I... I reckon he shouldn't have told me, not after he promised. That's all right, ma'am. Well, I, I really can't blame the boy. He was so all fired excited about meeting you and all. Wow, Bill! Morning, Dad. And, and Jingles. Howdy, son. Say, ain't you all dressed up? My, my, real pretty. <laughs> Ma and me's fixing to go to the church picnic after a while. Gosh, what are you doing here? I thought you... Oh, now, there was an accident at the mine, Tad. Some dirty varmint... <clears throat> Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Some dirty skunk tried to blow us up. What? That's right, Mrs. Lawson. Say, Tad, you didn't tell anybody besides your mother about us being up there at the mine, did you? Oh, no. No, honest, Wild Bill. I didn't tell anybody. Uh, no, well, now, come on. Let's get inside. I sure could use a cup of coffee. Hold it, Jingles. Just one cup and, well, maybe some bacon Look, and eggs. Look, over there. Yeah, fire. Hey, look, Ma, smoke's coming out of the canyon. Come on, let's go see. No, Tad. You better stay here with your mom. Jingles and I will ride over and have a look. Oh, all right. And ma'am? Yes? Keep that coffee on. Hey, look there, Bill. Hey, ain't much of a fire at all, but sure a lot of smoke. I got a hunch that fire just didn't start by itself. Uh, what you mean? Get back, Jingles. Here, behind these boulders. Hey, what in tarnation's going on around here? That fire was set to get Tad up here. I reckon they were surprised to see us. Hey, look, Bill, there they go. Come on. We'll head them off. After seeing us, they'll probably be on their way to the sheriff's house. It's Tad they want. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. 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 There they are, Bill, just pulling up to the house. I'll take the one on the pinto. Careful, Jingles. You don't want to hit Mrs. Lawson or Tad. They're breaking for the tree. Let's get inside the house. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Listen, Mrs. Lawson, you all right? Yes, yes, I'm all right, Bill. Where's Tad? He's right here. Down. Down, all of you. Jingles, take that side of the house. I'll take it. Who are those men? Who are they, Wild Bill? Well, I'm right sure one of them's Frank Perry, ma'am. Perry? But, but I don't understand. He and Slade want us, Mrs. Lawson, and they want Tad. Tad? But why? Because Tad knows that I was up in the mine, not the Missouri kid. Watch your Bill when I'm sneaking around the barn. I see him. Doggone it. What's the matter? Oh, look at what one of them skunks did, Bill. Shot a hole plumb through the coffee pot. Hold it, Jingles. Hey, they're getting away, Bill. We'll get them. 
But first, we gotta see to it that nothing happens to Mrs. Lawson and Tad. Oh, we'll be all right. I got Dad's rifle. I can take care of things. Sorry, son, but I don't think you and your mother ought to stay here. If there's someone you could stay with for a spell, ma'am. Well, yes, there's the Crowleys. Their place is just at the edge of town. Plenty of menfolk around? Oh, plenty. All right. Let's ride, then. Oh, I hate to put you to all this trouble, Wild Bill. No trouble at all, ma'am. Jingles and I have business in town anyway. Bill, this is Plum Loco. You're walking right into town this way in broad daylight. Too many folks still think you're the Missouri kid. Sure they do. But the Missouri kid is supposed to be dead. Well, there ain't nothing to stop him from shooting at his ghost. Well, in that case, you cover the other side of the street and keep a sharp eye on the windows. You you ain't told me yet where we're going. To the saloon. That's where we might find the deputy. Good. That's one hombre I'm hankering to have a few words with. Now, you let me handle him. Oh, just let me bang his head against the wall a few times, Bill. Just a few teensy-weensy times. That's all I have. Oh, all right. Let's go in. The Missouri kid! I thought he was dead! Go in! Er, howdy, strangers. What'd it be? Seen the deputy sheriff around, bartender? Why, er, no, no, I, I... Bill, look out! Hello there. Yeah. Couldn't talk for a spell. I was eating corn pops. You know, it's bad manners to talk with your mouth full, especially when you got nothing to say. I got something to say, though, something big. It's about Kellogg's Corn Pops, that wonderful eaten cereal that's already sweetened for you. Now, listen close here. Corn Pops are hearts of corn, all puffed up big and crisp with plenty of tasty sweetening on them. Now, you can eat Kellogg's Corn Pops the way I eat them when I listen to Wild Bill the Hickok, right out of the box by the handful. But come breakfast time, pour them out in a bowl and add a little milk. But don't go putting any sugar on Kellogg's Corn Pops. No, sir, because like I just said, Corn Pops already got the sweetening right on them, every single Corn Pop. Now, if you're eating them right now, look at the bag inside the box. Well, that bag is pure aluminum. Keeps Kellogg's Corn Pops fresh up to ten times longer. And your mom will want to know this. That bag's wonderful for storing things in the refrigerator, for wrapping sandwiches in. Now, don't go fussing with one box of Kellogg's Corn Pops. Get your mom to load up big and keep them on the pantry shelf. Then out of the box or out of the bowl, you can have all the Kellogg's Corn Pops you want. Now, let's tell everybody who loves Corn Pops. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. Pops love Pops. Now you're talking. Now back to Wild Bill Hickok, who ran straight into gunfire when he started looking for the deputy in the saloon. You must have a bad memory, bartender. Or bad eyesight. Yeah, that deputy was standing right behind the piano. Get him on his feet, Jingles. He's not hurt. It'll be a pleasure, Bill, a pleasure. Say, stranger, you ain't... I mean, you couldn't be... The Missouri kid? What do you think? I know you ain't. Not with a draw as fast as that one. The Missouri kid, I heard tell, ain't much of a gunfighter. He gets others to do his killings for him. So I heard, too. Yeah, there's only one man I ever heard of had a draw as fast as yours, stranger. And that's Wild Bill Hickok. And that's just who he is, bartender. Wild Bill himself. <laughs> come on, deputy. Come on now. Uh, leave me alone. Well, what do we do with this critter, Bill? Ask him a few questions first. And I'll bet he answers, too. Won't you, deputy? Oh, Won't you, oh, deputy? Hey, hey, Where's hey, Frank hey, Perry? Hey, Where's Frank Perry? Perry? I don't know. He doesn't know, Jingles. Oh, sure he does. Oh, sure he does. Wait, wait, wait. wait Where wait. is he? Maybe up at the cabin. Lone River Way. I don't know. All right, Jingles. That's enough. Oh, Bill, just one more time around, please. No. Oh. We'll take him down to the jail. Then we're riding after Slade and Perry. And I've got a hunch we'll find the Missouri kid, too. Well, them 
them hombres sure made it easy for us to trail them, Bill. Look at them tracks here along the river. Can see them a mile away. Yeah. Maybe they made it a little too easy for us. Maybe they're expecting us. You reckon so? Pull up a minute. Listen. I don't hear a thing except the river. Sure you do. Hey, hey, you're right. Horses somewhere in back of us. Not far behind either. The environment's double back on us. Let's give them a surprise, Jingles. Get behind those rocks. Must be Perry and Slade. Yeah, that's right. Here's where we meet the Missouri kid. You're sure one of them is the Missouri kid? That's right. And I want to hear him say so. Oh, don't worry. I'll make him talk. Quiet. Here they come. Yeah, shh, shh, shh. All right, boys. Reach. Hickok. Hit him. I said reach, Slade, but not for your gun. Now, both of you get off those horses. Drop your gun. Look, Hickok. Let me take care of my hand. It's bleeding bad. See what you can do for Slade, Jingles. You can't get away with this, Hickok. I'm a respectable citizen. Save your breath, Perry. I know you're the Missouri kid. Oh, that fool deputy must have talked. Shut up. Stop, you fool. Look out for him, Bill. Come back, Perry. Shoot him, Bill. He hasn't got a gun, Jingles. I'm going in after him. Give up, Perry. Get away from me. That's as far as you go. Let go. Let go. Who killed the marshal? I don't know. Okay. Underwater with you. Oh. Who killed him? The deputy. It was the deputy. On your orders? No. No, I had nothing to do with it. You had him killed because he was pretty sure you were the Missouri kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Sure, now, now let me go. Let me go. All right, Perry. Let's go back to shore. Oh. I got some more questions. I know. I know I'm finished. I told the deputy to grab the first stranger coming into town. Let it get around. He was a Missouri kid. I didn't know it'd be you. Then there'd be a lynching. The Missouri kid would be dead. The law would stop looking for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the Missouri kid. I thought so. Jumping catfish, Bill. I thought you was both going to drown. So did Perry. Hey, d- did he say he was a Missouri kid? Yeah. After I held him underwater. <laughs> Hey, you know something, Bill? What's that, Jingles? Well, we started out hunting, and then you went swimming, and, well, you wound up fishing. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. And here's what we caught. A big fish who thought the law wouldn't catch up with him. And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Andy and I sure hope you enjoyed our adventure today and that you'll be with Wild Bill and Jingles again next week. Yeah, and I guarantee you I won't take care of more than 30 or 40 bad men. <laughs> <laughs> if I know you, Andy, you'll have enough trouble just taking care of yourself. Meanwhile, Andy and I hope you'll be eating Kellogg's Corn Pops like we do. That's right. It's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. We think Kellogg's Corn Pops are great. <laughs> so long. See you next week. Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week, this same time, same station, when Kellogg's Corn Pops again bring you Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Directed by Paul Pierce, music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. <laughs>